This is why it is so crucial to make sure that when you're working with a provider for your chronic pain, that they're not just deciding what treatment should be done based on your imaging. This is probably one of the biggest pet peeves of mine, and it's something that I have seen constantly over the last six, seven years of, of really being in the thick of things. And it's this idea that if somebody has chronic pain, a doctor sends for an imaging, usually it's an x-ray or an MRI, that imaging comes back with findings, whether that's degenerative disc disease, that's facet arthropathy, that's a rotator cuff tear, whatever it is, doesn't really matter for this discussion. And the provider then says, okay, so you have pain in your back and you have degenerative disc disease and discs can be painful, so therefore your pain is coming from this disc. Or, actually this is not something I talk about a lot um, that I think is important, is the flip side, it's the reverse. It's, well, you know, you've got this thing, but you know, on your, like, like degenerative disc disease or a annular fissure, this is common with that actually, where the doc goes, nah, but you know, without doing a physical exam, nah, that's not the, that's not the cause of your pain, without a physical exam. That's the point here. The key differentiator is the physical exam. The physical exam is what we use to link the patient's symptoms, what you are going through, what you are feeling, why you are suffering in pain, and what is shown on the imaging. If you don't have that physical exam in 99% of the cases, I don't know the actual percentage, but it's basically almost all the time. There are some exceptions and it's just, it's, that's too nuanced to get into, into a general video here. But the, the, the rule here is that the physical exam physically will link your symptoms to your imaging such that that is the only way that we can say with confidence that this annular fissure on your MRI is contributing to your back pain or is causing your back pain. Without that physical exam, we can't really say that. We can say, well, we think so. You know, here's why we might think it or, okay, well, here's a, a, a diagnostic block we can do to see if, you know, if that, that changes things. Uh, there, there are scenarios like that, but the physical exam is necessary. And the reason for that is because a good, skilled and thorough physical examination is able to properly load different tissues. What I mean by that is this. When we do a physical exam, we can load the disc. We can add compressive force onto the disc. We can add some compression and some flexion. We can add compression and extension. We can do some shearing in the disc, whether that's what's called AP or front to back, or we can do some lateral shearing. We can do different maneuvers that are not perfect. There's no one single maneuver here that is perfectly just going to isolate the L4-5 disc or the L5-S1 disc. But it is kind of focused and targeted in that area. And so what we do is we do these exams that load the areas that we suspect are painful or not painful. And then we look at what happens when we do that. If I load your disc and you say, oh my gosh, that causes my pain. I go, oh, that's interesting. Now, because when we load the disc, sometimes we're also loading other structures, like if we're doing an extension-based movement with compression, that also loads the facet joints. So let's do another maneuver that doesn't really load the disc, but loads the facet joints a whole lot more, and what happens when we do that maneuver? We do that maneuver and you go, yeah, that's, you know, it's a little uncomfortable, but it's not that bad. So now a test that, kind, that, that heavily loaded the disc and kind of loaded facets, was painful, caused your pain, it recreated the stuff that you want gone. And then we have another test that's heavy on facets, light on the disc, and you go, nah, that wasn't really that painful. That's the type of thinking, but on a much more complex level, that we go through when we are trying to figure out why people are suffering from chronic pain. It's a thorough physical evaluation that allows us to load tissues to get your response. So we know what your brain is perceiving from those tissues. And then we just, we continue to go through this physical exam where we load different structures. We load them in different ways. We take pressure off of things to see what would happen. Sometimes one of the best ways that we can diagnose, um, you know, some facet issues or even some instability in the cervical spine is actually what we call a, a it's a decompression 
where we're actually lifting the head up. We're providing more support by lifting, but we're also doing a decompression. A lot of patients with cervical instability go, oh, I feel so much better right now. Or if you've got a pinched nerve in the neck that's going down the arm and you lift up, that actually creates more space in that uh, intervertebral foramen. And someone might go, oh, that completely relieves my arm symptoms. Those are the things that we are looking for when we are doing a physical exam. How can we play around with different maneuvers to trigger and then also improve your pain so that we can understand why you're having pain, which is what we're linking here. Like I talked about earlier, the imaging to your actual pain concerns. So if you've been told that, you know, your pain is coming from your rotator cuff or it's coming from your annular fissure or whatever structure you've been told and all you've had is just someone has listened to you and then maybe they've done like a few maneuvers on you, you know, just like a few and then they do imaging go, that's why you're having pain. I just, ch I, I challenge you to challenge that. Now, that can happen, in which case we have a few clear-cut cases come through every year where it's just like, this is, this is super easy. You do a few maneuvers, yep, it's you know, adhesive capsulitis and, and we proceed to treatment. But if you're suffering in chronic pain and you have been for a long time and people are struggling to figure out what's going on or the treatments that you've been told um, that should work for the thing that they took two seconds to do a physical exam on you and those treatments aren't working, it's probably because you haven't had a thorough enough physical exam. So um, that's what I would encourage you to seek out and to challenge is have you had a strong enough physical exam, a uh, thorough enough physical exam to really be able to say that what is seen on imaging is actually contributing to or causing your pain. Because here's the key, once you understand what is causing your pain from a tissue level, the treatments are now very clear on what to do. If your disc is causing your pain, but you have been doing physical therapy that's directed at your facet joints, guess what? That's why you're not getting better. You, your physical therapy then changes to focus on the disc, boom, now you start getting better. You have to figure out why you are suffering if you're gonna be undergoing these um, more interventional, so things like physical therapy or injection-based treatments and care.